How do we actually insert, find, or remove elements in a multi-way try? It turns out that these three algorithms are actually pretty trivial. So instead of having a separate video for each of these, I'm just gonna teach it to you all at once using this example. They're pretty much all the same algorithm, just slightly varied. Okay, so first in my sequence of steps that I'm gonna do, so these are just my current example that I'm gonna use to demonstrate these. In my example, first I need to initialize my multi-way try. So what does that look like? I have to create an empty multi-way try. I can just create a root node. So an initialized multi-way try is just a root node, nothing else. Cool, that was easy. Actually, I'll use checks, okay. So now that I have my initialized multi-way try, I wanna insert the word ant. So the insertion algorithm is very trivial. Start at the root and for each letter in my word that I'm inserting, check if my current node has a child edge labeled by that letter. If it does not, I need to create a new child edge labeled by that letter. Then I can traverse down to that next child edge and continue. The moment I finish my word, whatever my current node is, I have to mark as a word node. That was a lot of words. Let's just try out an example. It's actually very simple. So start at the root. So my current node, let me, yeah. So my current node is the root. I'm starting at A. I'll just use a dot here. So I'm starting at A and I'm starting at my root. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by my current letter? So does this node have a child edge labeled by A? No, it does not. Therefore, I must create one. Now it definitely does. So traverse that edge. So now my current node is this node. I'm done with A. So now my current node, uh, my current letter is the next letter. Okay. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? No, it doesn't. So I have to create one and then traverse down to it. Now my current letter is T. My current node is this one. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by T? No, it doesn't. So I have to create one. And then I can traverse down to it. T is done. My word is all the way complete. I've exhausted every letter in my word. Therefore, whatever node I'm currently at must become a word node. So I'm currently here, so this becomes a word node. Now I'm done with this insertion. Let's try another one. And I'm gonna alternate my arrow colors so that it's a little easier to see. Actually, no, I'll just keep it the same. Okay, so let's try another one. So I wanna insert the word art. Again, I start at the root. I start at the first letter. Does the current node have a child labeled by, a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. My current node does have a child edge labeled by A. So I don't have to make anything new. I just traverse it. Cool. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? No, it does not. There is no child edge of this node labeled by R. So I create one and then I traverse down it. R is done. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? No, it does not. This node does not have a child edge labeled by T. So I create one, traverse down to it. Cool. All of the letters in my word are done. Therefore, whatever node I'm currently at, make it a word node. And now my insertion, whoops, that was the wrong color. My insertion is done. Okay, so now the next word, insert the word an, A-N. Just like before, I start at the root, start at the first letter of my word. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? 
Yes, it does. So I just traverse down to it. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. So I just traverse down to it. I finished all the letters in my word. So whatever my current node is, I have to mark it as a word node. And now my insertion of this word is also done. A-N, I made it a word node. So notice for this insertion, this was the first insertion I've had that I actually did not need to create any new nodes. With a multi-way try, we very well might not have to create any new nodes as long as we just traverse down and all the nodes already exist. What does that mean? That means that this new word that I in, uh, inserted happens to be a prefix of one of the words that I inserted previously, but that's totally fine. Okay, so hopefully you're comfortable with the insertion algorithm. Our steps were start at the root, start at the first letter. For each letter in my word, does my current node have a child labeled by that letter? If it doesn't, create one and then just traverse down. When I finish, mark my current node as a word node. Okay, what about the find algorithm? The find algorithm is even easier. Start at the root, start at the first letter. For each letter in my word, traverse, is, uh, check does my current node have a child edge labeled by that letter? If it does, traverse it. If it doesn't, I failed. That word does not exist in my tree. Uh, and then once I finish every single letter in my word, if the current node that I'm at happens to be a word node, return true, I've succeeded. Otherwise, return false. So again, a lot of words, but let's just try it out. It's much easier if we just try it. So start at the root node, start at the first letter. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by my current letter? Yes, it does. So I traverse down. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. R, here's the child node, a uh, child edge. So I traverse down. Does my current node, sorry, this is my current letter now. Does my current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. Therefore, I traverse down, done. I've finished my word. So now I check, is my current node a word node? Yes, it is. Therefore, success. Yes, art does exist in this multi-way try. So that was a successful find. Let's try the next one. So again, start at the root, start at the first letter. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the, the current letter? Yes, it does. So I traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. So I traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Uh-oh, no, it doesn't. I'm here, but there is no child edge labeled with M. Therefore, this word does not exist in my multi-way try. I finished the find algorithm and I've returned false. No, this word does not exist in my multi-way try. Let's try one more example. Start at the root node, that's here. Start at the first letter. Does the current uh, node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. So I just traverse down. So now I'm here. Oh, I finished my word. So now I check, does the current node I'm at, or is the current node that I'm at a word node? No, it's not. The current node is not a word node. Therefore, oops, uh, therefore, no, this word does not exist in my multi-way try. So I again successfully finished my find algorithm. It failed. No, no, and yes. So just to reiterate, start at the root, start at the first letter, keep traversing down for each character in your word. If you ever find a scenario that 
the child edge does not exist, fail. That word does not exist. If you successfully went over every single letter, but the uh, node you ended up at is not a word node, fail. That word does not exist. Only if you were able to traverse every single letter's edge and end it at a word node, does that word actually exist. Okay, so now for the last algorithm, remove. Remove is extremely simple. It's the exact same thing as the find algorithm, except the moment we get to the last node in our traversal, just make that node not be a word node. So let's try to remove the word ant. I start at the root. I start at the first letter. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. So I traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. Traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. Traverse down. I finished the word, which means that whatever node I'm currently at, I have to make not be a word node anymore. So I'm going to make this not a word node. And finished. I have successfully removed the word ant from my multi-way try. How can I be sure? Well, let's try finding it. So let's start at the root, start at the first letter. Does the current node have a child edge labeled with the current letter? Yes, it does. Traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. Traverse down. Does the current node have a child edge labeled by the current letter? Yes, it does. Traverse down. I finished my word. I finished all the letters of my word. So I check, is my current node a word node? No, it's not. It's not a word node. Therefore, ant does not exist in this multi-way try. So just to quickly summarize, all of these algorithms, you basically just start at the root and for each letter of your word, traverse down the corresponding edge. Then what you do at the end or what you do during your traversal slightly changes between them, but it's fairly trivial. Let's think about the time complexity of these algorithms. Note that it had uh, it didn't matter how many words I had in my multi-way try. 